Hey, Drew? Um, I'll just say, uh, I brought up in the last session as well, um, that the creation of classes and courses on the undergraduate level, and I think undergraduate is the right spot because, again, the internet is just so important for everyone. And um, so the younger you can get people educated on internet governance, um, the, the better. And also, at my university specifically, we had groups of students, not just tied to one class, but groups of students go to the regional IGF um, and participate um, in a lot of the sessions and interact. So I think bringing you know, student groups to things like regional IGF and even the global IGF is, is a good idea. I'm sitting here thinking a little bit about um, this whole, uh, ri the rise of the term internet governance. Um, and I'm thinking about other media that have been, uh, were invented before internet, things like tele telephony or uh, telegraphy even to go even farther back or radio and television. And I'm trying to imagine the, a conference like this talking about radio governance. Now, I understand about allocation of frequencies, and there's a big conference that's sponsored by the ITU about who gets to radiate in what frequency. So that governance part, I understand. But you know, I, public involvement in that tends to be pretty small. Uh, can you imagine having a discussion about this with regard to television? Uh, is there a big issue about access to television? Um, and there are some issues in the United States, for example, questions about who gets to be in the television uh, transmission business and under what rules. But the general public doesn't often participate in the way that we're seeing here. So what is it about the internet that makes us feel like we have to have something to say about governance and to involve so many different stakeholders? Is, what, what is, is it because it's not a one-way medium? Or just a two-way medium. It's a it's a medium that allows multiple parties to interact with multiple parties.